Okay. Well, this really is something different. This is the EcoBait stand, um, part of the American Pavilion, and I'm with Sam Harrington, who's the marketing manager um, of a company that makes packaging out of mushrooms. That's right. So Ecovative is growing mushroom packaging. This is a sustainable alternative to polystyrene, polyethylene, and other plastic foams. And we literally use mushroom technology to grow this material. How did, uh, how did you come up with this idea? Because I believe this has been around for about seven years, the company, is that right? Yeah, this mushroom material was invented in 2007 by two students at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Uh, Eben grew up on a farm in, in Vermont. He saw wood chips sticking together. These little white fibers are holding them together. And he realized that these fibers, mycelium, the roots of mushrooms, are a natural self-assembling adhesive. So from there, he developed it through into a packaging solution. Yeah, so Eben teamed up with a, a teammate of his at school, Gavin, uh, in a class called Inventor Studio. They were mechanical engineers, and they, they wanted to figure out how to harness this, this natural power to, uh, to form a resin and they developed mushroom materials. I think it's fantastic, that really is innovative. Um, it, must, it must be quite an easy uh, feedstock to replenish, I would imagine. It is, I've got some of the feedstock right here. Mm. So it all starts with agricultural waste. Right. So this is corn or maize stalks, we can use low value agricultural wastes mm -hmm. sourced right near our factories. And we add to this the mycelium, and mycelium is like the root structure of mushroom. Uh, so typically it's growing through the forest floor or in stumps that are breaking down. But we use it as a natural self-assembling adhesive. So we've got a, a wine chipper that's growing right here. We filled this on day one of the show. And now three days later, it's just about done. Hang on, that is actually growing here at the show? This is living. This is alive. And you've put it into a, into a correctly shaped mold so that it actually grows to fit. Exactly. How clever is that? So what we're doing is we're replicating the life cycle of the fungus in its natural environment. But instead of growing into the shape of a forest floor, it's growing into this engineered shape for packaging. I, I, I can't see this. I, I mean, can this be a volume proposition? Or you have to grow everything to order, presumably? Yeah, everything's custom ordered. And, and so our factory essentially has three days of inventory that's in process and growing. So what sort of, uh, I mean, what kind of companies use, I mean, what, who, who are your customers, yes? So in North America, we've partnered with the Sealed Air Corporation. Okay. Uh, they've opened a factory in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. They buy the raw material from us, and they use equipment that we provide them uh, to grow this material. Customers include Dell for electronics, uh, furniture for crate and barrel and steel case, uh, a lot of industrial components, um, really any product that needs cushioning and protection. And can, anybody can who wants to make a sustainable sort of statement as well. Absolutely. Um, and unlike some of the sustainable solutions like PLA or, or uh, maize, cornstock, whatever, I mean, you're not actually diverting uh, a feedstock away from, uh, let's say, an agricultural use, are you? You're using something that is naturally uh, a fungus. Yeah, and, and the feedstocks we're using, we are using corn, um, but it's not the feed. It's the plant stalks. And so it's not raising food prices. It's not taking food off of our table uh, or food away from livestock. Uh, the, 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 the solution that, that occurs to me is, is expanded polystyrene. I mean, that's sort sure. of what it looks like. Yeah, so is it, I mean, is it less expensive, more expensive? I, if it takes three days to, to produce to order, I guess it probably is a little bit more expensive, is it? So this is our value proposition. Same cost, same performance, and it's sustainable. And so for all of our existing customers, whether they're replacing expanded polystyrene or higher value foams like polyethylene or polypropylene, we're able to match the cost or sometimes even come in below. And they say environmental solutions cost the earth. Well, clearly they don't. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Sam, I can see the packaging uh, possibilities very clearly, but apart from packaging, are there other possibilities for this? Sure. So in addition to mycofoam, the material that we use for mushroom packaging, we're now producing myco board. And this is the same technology, but compressed. Wow. And so we're able to make an alternative to medium density fiber board and other engineered wood products without any adhesive. So there's no urea formaldehyde or glues in there at all. So for example, this could be used as a pallet. Absolutely. Right, very good. And I could imagine that would do well in, uh, well, I would imagine that would do well in say the pharmaceutical sector or the cosmetic sector. Perhaps. Um, right now we're working with a couple furniture companies to make uh, high-end chair components. Because it, it, what sort of loads will that bear then? It's actually got a higher strength to weight ratio than MDF. Has it really? And it's, and it's about half the density. 
It's very good. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.